Well then, huh. <laughs> let us begin the mayhem. Cause I'm a sucker for love. I don't know about you. But this program contains graphic themes of self-harm, suicide, and reversible qualities of tentacles, and viewer discretion is advised. Baka baka. Sucker for love, first date. All right, there we go. <laughs> it just sounds a little low to me. But this is just a title screen. Last load from where I was going before. I did all of the the second god I met's uh, endings. So, for reference, the first date with Lynetta only has two ends. Uh, and only one of those is technically canon, I guess. Well, actually, they're both canon, but it's like an Undertale thing. They always remember your choices. Um, <clears throat> and then, for what I was doing already, in chapter two, uh, I've gotten all of one characters uh or romanceable routes endings and now i need a few other ones i actually know how to do them now so that's helpful <clears throat> i guess i'll turn up even more well, let's see here uh let's go back to if I get in three hearts, I want to get one broken heart. Looks like everything's in place. I feel all gussed up. Even for me, this outfit's pretty loud. But even so, the beauty of this wholesome ensemble is out of this world. If Lynetta is showering in here, I better meet with Esther in the other room. All I have to do is stand where the plant's light can reach me, and... I, don't know, I already know what you're going to say, your highness. Yellow is more your color than mine, but I still look pretty good, right? You clean up well. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. 
It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive, like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. Yeah, said, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. I feel a twist of metal digging into my temples. It's stuck to my face somehow. Ow, ow, ow! It really won't come off! <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. This surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant. Correct? Uh, sorry, I didn't mention I'm um, two-timing the Eldritch, the Eldritch Gods. I can't even blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal of the eye holes. The your face have become one. Your every pore is now gilt and gold. This is... What? What do I, I have to wear this to work? Want to see family? Want to see Lynetta? Wait a minute. Those strange people outside. They all have masks on them, too. Are they past followers who became Esther's servants? Is that gonna be my fate? So actually, I only did this so that uh, I can't get a perfect score with Lynetta. Cause you can uh, basically do three hearts or you can do uh, two hearts and a broken heart or one broken heart and two hearts. Uh, yeah, I played this earlier in stream. For about four hours, apparently. Perform Act 2. Oh, wait, no. That's not what I want to do. I saw the unspeakable boobies. So, yeah, that was an accident. Still worth it. Oh, that was the other ending there. Okay, well, I accidentally know that that's what that is. Uh, though it doesn't count towards the endings I was actually trying to go towards. It's just one uh, thing that can happen. Okay. Okay, Switch, I actually don't need to leave the room. I just need to make sure this curtain is shut because uh, she literally exists where the light of a certain planet touches. So if I close the blinds, she's not there. Let's see. Um, so this game actually involves doing a bunch of Eldritch rituals and making sure everything is right uh, so you don't botch uh, your rituals. Or you can botch them on purpose, I suppose. Uh, metamorphosis. Ceremonial robe. Mask. Necklace. Okay, I have the robe on already. Ceremonial knife. Total darkness. Snuff those. Okay, yeah, that's off. Off. Let's take that down. This will turn me into a squid kid. I mean, a squid face. Papagan Afgaban Azgumban El Ah. Oh, I can't get the ritual mask to stay on over my masquerade one. She's finished with her shower? Oh yeah, I'm just working on my pronunciation. She's right in front of me. Maybe if I bury my face in this book, she won't notice the mask is refused to my face? Oh, are you stuck on a word? I can help you sound it out. Let me see the page. No, no, I got it. I'm a big boy. Rallying can be harder to figure out than English. <laughs> it would probably be easier to read if the book wasn't upside down, darling. Oh, that explains why I couldn't read it. <laughs> okay, I think I've got it now. Darling, why are you holding it so close to your face? The font shouldn't be that small. Uh, my sight has been going for a while now. I gotta pick up some prescription reading glasses. 
but I've been putting it off. <laughs> I didn't know you need glasses. I uh, usually wear contacts. But you aren't wearing them now? Uh, I guess not. I must have dropped them on the ground somewhere in the last reality. <laughs> Darling. Yeah? Put the book down. Uh... Now. That's it. I'm screwed if she sees this masquerade mask on my face. She'll know I've been meeting with Esther. Think. 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 Ow. Quick, the bathroom. Will that door hold? No telling. If this mask is still on my face when she gets in. So I have no other option. I dig my fingers under the edge of the mask. Uh, 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 it feels like I'm pulling my very fingernails off for mere millimeters of leverage. The mask feels fused to my skin. I'm taking off large chunks of flesh with every pull. This pain, it's unreal. It's do or die. I take a deep breath and pull the mask forward until the skin is taut and there's no more give. Then I... Why did you lock me out, darling? I, I, I can't even formulate thoughts right now. Whatever happens here happens. Is, is that why you were hiding your face? No, baby. I don't care about any of that. I'm not so shallow that I'd fuss over what you look like. I'm here because I like you. No matter what happens to you. So don't be so self-conscious around me, okay? Lunetta? Shh. Just let me hold you. She's too sweet. This feeling right now almost makes tearing off my face worth it. Almost. Just stay right there until you're mentally prepared to continue. Okay. I end up blacking out from the pain, waking up sometime later in my bed. The gold mask is nowhere to be found. Okay. Dark com communion. No robes or necklaces. Have an offering. Well lit. Him. Naflangan Unengel Oteril Nangafemel. Delicious. Just as perfect as last time. As long as we keep finding each other, we can keep doing this forever. I'd like that. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? I do remember. Uh, uh, for reference, I'm not actually talking with the mouth on my face. I'm talking with the mouth that's on my hand. If you're familiar with uh, Naruto and the character uh, Didera, uh, who like had hands on his mouth that he used to chew explosives, it's kind of like that. It's set that it can speak in eldritch tongues and apparently English, but English is its second language. So you know what happens next, right? One last ritual. And then we say goodbye again. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. <sighs> oh, I knew waking up could be so exhausting. Gotta take a nap before you? Gonna take a nap before you, well, end everything? You know me so well. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. I know what you did. Don't look so surprised. 
Right before our date would have ended, you betrayed me. Don't think that there aren't consequences between realities, darling. I've already dealt with that pesky breakup spell in your book, as I'm sure you've noticed. So just take the straight and narrow path of loyalty in front of you, and we can keep doing this forever and ever and ever. Hmm. Could you hit the lights for me again, darling? Last spell. Final pledge ritual. Oh. It doesn't even matter what I, uh, I, I will turn off the lights for you. Because you did ask. After all. Birthdays are an eldritch ritual. A bunch of people chanting before a fire is extinguished by breath and a knife is plunged before the sacrifice is shared. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, why is her voice so cute? Um, the developer handpicked the voice actors. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that would go out saying in general. Uh, but I think they ended up with uh, Rouge's voice actor. Um, a very talented um, uh, voice actor. I believe all they put out a casting call for 40 plus year old voice actors when they uh, were casting for this game. Because they wanted the Eldridge beings to feel like folks who are older than you and talking down to you. I wonder what it feels like to play this game if you're like over 40 though. It's like, oh yes, up here. All right, I have to do this five times. Last one. Huh? What? Lynette takes a book from my hands. We need to talk. I... I wanted to apologize for being so nasty to you earlier. Truth is, even though I knew you were acting strangely, I was still clinging to you selfishly because I was so, so mad at you. I just wanted to have the best prawn work for a happy future together. So I thought I could scare you straight. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm gay. But now I know that's not possible. Not here. Not now. You're just not the same person that ended reality for me so long ago. Oh. So, let's break up. I see. Lena, I'm sorry. Don't be. There's no need to end this reality just so we can have an unhealthy, failing relationship. Oh, Nana. So, I'll go back to sleep. Before billions die, for my sake. But, where do we go from here? What's left after today? Tomorrow, silly. You're taking the book with you too? I'm just giving it back to Moo. It's not like I'll have a need for it. Hopefully this book never finds its way back to your world. For your sake, and mine. I see. I'll handle the book, but if you survive, could you throw out the rest of these summoning artifacts? It's no good to keep things that remind you of me, you know? I'm sorry. It's a beautiful day outside. You should open the window. Maybe let in some light. A goodbye smooch. Maybe there's still a chance for us. In reality, far from this one. But the best I can do in this one is spare you. Oh. You're not going to kill me? No, I am going to kill you. To spare you from the slow, agonizing end. I'm sparing you the pain of being alive when the fog lifts and reality sets in. You won't have to live to see the consequences of the spells you've already completed. At least this way, you won't feel a thing. I see. Goodbye, darling. It was fun. It was fun. Please eat my face. Till we meet again.
Wow, that was probably one of the most pleasant breakups we've ever had. Alright, now for the one where she'll be mad as fuck at me. God, the thing about feeding her. Yeah, you're gonna have to see the uh, part one vibe for that. It's pretty good. Okay. So I basically just do the same things I was just doing again. Soul darkness. Off. Off. Uh. Oh, and what she said about like mm, the fog lifting and like uh, the consequences of my actions. Uh. Like, the madness actually cloaks my ability to recognize how much damage has been done to my body, like missing part of my face and stuff like that. While I'm still around the uh, uh, Eldritch Gods. Hopgun, punk, bink, ozung, blankung, ah. Remove poster. Hopgun, bink, ozung, blankung, ah. Okay, there's that one. Ripping off my face. Uh, she made this one just to cheer me up. But uh, Lanetta? Yes, darling. I'm just checking, but um, you haven't tampered with my book, right? What do you mean? The Eldritch Embrace spell. It looks a bit different. From the other rituals. <laughs> How strange! <laughs> oh, what's the use? You caught me. It's not a real ritual. I just... I see how hard you're pushing yourself to make it through these spells for my sake. I thought maybe you could use a break from the real rituals. So I could spoil you a little. Ah, uh, that's actually pretty sweet of you, but there's no time not for breaks. Not even a quick one? I can't lose sight of my singular goal, smooching ya. Well, alright. I'll leave you to it then. You're leaving? There's something I need to check on. It's probably nothing, but... You haven't seen anything strange lately, have you? I've seen plenty of strange things lately. The outer gods, hands with mouths... I meant things beyond the usual strangeness. You haven't noticed anything... watching you, have you? Hmm... Sorry, I guess I'm being the strange one, huh? I mean, you are an Elder God. I'll just be right back. Stay safe, okay? Okay. So I think for this one, I'll put those back. Do I need lights on or off? Oh, so I can trigger that to make her leave the room if I want to. That's good to know. No robes or necklaces. Offering. Okay, we haven't seen this one yet. She's gonna be real mad because our offering's gonna be eaten already. I was just. I was essentially just feeding it to someone. Nothing is just your imagination. Nothing glad I got you. I like nothing from. Oh, neat light. Hmm. 
Nothing gone go run and good go for more. I use I'll use up my supplies to cook for Esther. All this left is leftovers from our banquet. That's no good, darling. It's no good to leave dirty dishes out, especially after eating so much. You know, it's important to take your diet seriously. You should be more careful when your health is on the line. I'll remember that. This much food. It's surprising that you were able to eat it alone. Yeah, well, I know I don't like it, but I'm a big eater. Especially with sweets. You're so interesting, darling. I'm learning something new about you every day. I can't tell if she's on to me or if she's in denial. But since I'm in trouble. It just can't be helped if you got a sweet tooth. Do you want me to feed you the last of it? Oh. Uh, what, the leftovers? Uh, I'm good. It's no good to waste food, darling. No, you are right. I should watch my diet more carefully. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate, as they say. Ah, uh, you said I said that in the last reality, didn't I? Mm. Yeah, that's probably a. Mm. But I'm full. Oh, make room in your dessert stomach. She's merciless. Say ah. N no. Huh? You don't want to eat? I wonder. If this isn't the food that you like, it sounds like you're saying this was for someone else. But that can't be right. After all, my darling wouldn't secretly be hosting communion with other gods behind my back. Right, darling? <sighs> Those are dangerous eyes. I've got my back against the wall here. Even if she knows, I have to keep up appearances here, or she'll drag me to oblivion without a second thought. I reluctantly unclench my teeth and open my mouth. A juice-soaked morsel from the leftovers is shoveled into my mouth. It feels gritty, with an unusual texture like it's covered in thousand small hairs. It tastes strange. I can't even begin to guess what food this used to be. I try to gulp it down, but before I can taste it, it's too big to swallow whole. If I just bite it in half once and swallow the pieces, I might get it down before I gag. As I bite down, it bursts like a tomato. Ugh, filling my mouth with sweet juice. It tastes extremely fruity. Sort of pineapple even. This... That is good! It's better than good. It's great. It's godlike nectar. Instantly addictive ambrosia. More. I need more! It's too delicious to just have one bite. It's seriously like nothing else. As soon as I swallow, I feel the immediate effects of withdrawal. My fond memories of any other food fade to utter disgust. The mere thought of ever eating anything else makes my stomach churn. I greedily take another bite, filling my mouth with as much as I can. The smooth nectar bursting from every bite swims around my mouth, coating every surface. It's so delicious that it's... That's... It's making my mouth tingle. Huh? Did I just bite my cheek? What? Why do I taste blood? The dull tingling suddenly turns into a sharp sting. Then to an unbearable burning. My mouth burns. It feels raw. Like I'm gargling acid. It's like my mouth is being digested. I lurch to spit it out, but my willpower fails me. I just can't bear to spit it out. It's so good. Just a little while longer. Let me chew it just a little while longer. Blech. The food falls out of my mouth with a spat. As a heap of bloody viscera. It might be in my imagination, but I swear I spat out twice as much as I put in my mouth. The horror. Good boy. You know how much I love to spoil you. Wow.
If you have like a trauma fetish, this is perfect. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? I do remember. So you know what happens next, right? One last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. <sighs> Who knew waking up could be so exhausting? Can I take a nap before you will end everything? You know me so well. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. I know what you did. Don't look so surprised. Wait. It's still... It's still only one heart. Uh, one broken heart. I not have done it right. What? Well, that takes a book we from my hands. Need to talk. <sighs> oh, I did get it. Ah, uh, because it looked the same, I wasn't sure. Damn. Wait, can I just... I can just go to it though now, right? Ah, I see. It's weird that this game doesn't have a back button, I just realized. Wow, I'm doing all this over again just so I can be actively friend zoned. Fucking hilarious. At least I don't feel bad about skipping everything now. Or necklaces. I'm basically a pro at this now. Esther made me do the same thing if I eat her, uh, if I, uh, feed hers to, um, my other girlfriend. Um, and the same thing happens on my end, but the, like, the context of how they feed it to me is different. Well, that takes the book from my we hands. Need to talk. I I wanted to apologize for being so nasty to you earlier. Truth is, 
Even though I knew you were acting strangely, I was still clinging to you selfishly because I was so, so mad at you. I just wanted to have the best Kron work for a happy future together. So I thought I could scare you straight. But now I know that's not possible. Not here, not now. You're just not the same person that ended reality for me so long ago. So, let's break up. Well, Nana, I I'm sorry. Don't be. There's no need to end this reality just so we can have an unhealthy, failing relationship. So, I'll go back to sleep. Before billions die, for my sake. But, where do we go from here? What's left after today? Tomorrow, silly. You're taking the book with you, too? I'm just giving it back to Moo. It's not like I'll have a need for it. Hopefully this book never finds its way back to your world. For your sake, and mine. I'll handle the book, but if you survive, could you throw out the rest of these summoning artifacts? It's no good to keep things that remind you of me, you know? I'm sorry. It's a beautiful day outside. You should open the window. Maybe let in some light. Take care. Wow. The worst ending with her is she doesn't give you a kiss. <laughs> Sucker for love. First date. Alright. Final chapter. The stuff you had to find the secrets to actually be able to access. Chapter 3, Neon Lafotep's Catastrophe. I hope you're gonna have a name that's, uh, a nickname that's easier to pronounce for me. Fear of the unknown is the single strongest fear of mankind. Terrors from beyond the borders of knowledge. And yet, the truest horror has been in mankind's cradle since the beginning, and walks the earth amongst us now. For true evil exists not in the devil unseen, but the devil seen and unrecognized. When you meet her, you realize that tucking away the rest of the horrors to the unseen corners of the stars is a blessing. A shade of a thousand manifestations, each more horrific than the last. She serves only one. Phasmagorical wishes she obeys with extreme prejudice. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. Well, well, well. You're the one that Lynetta calls darling and that Esther calls dearest, aren't you? Sure am. I. I. This dread. It's like when I first met Lynetta, but this time it's sustained. Like a state of constantly being breathless. The very air has become unfamiliar and alien to me. Saturated with infinite malevolence. It's impossible to breathe. The veil has been pierced and the outer cosmos has revealed its limitless cruelty in the form of this avatar of insidious implication. Its very presence assails my mind, turning it against itself and all of its and all that is decent, there, at the terminal precipice I learned, the terror not only haunts, it speaks. Speak up. I'm an older god, so I'm a little hard of hearing. Are you or are you not the human that has been dating? Normally, I to me and I demand that she introduce herself first, but now I feel and in my very bones that I'm being talked down to by something far beyond me. I... I... I am. Good. Would you like a cup of hot tea? A cold glass of water? You're... You're offering me something to drink? You've been through a lot. I just wanted to ensure you're at ease for now. 
No, I just meant it's odd for you to be a guest in my room and offer me something. Are you certain this is your room? Uh, the very floor beneath my feet feels mercury, mercurial and unreliable, shifting nightmarishly in non-Euclidean vertigo. <sighs> Who are you? Who am I? I am the obscure, the unutterable. I am the crying chaos. When mankind pushes out into the unknown, I am the unknown that pushes back. But just like my troublesome nieces, you can just call me Auntie Nyan Nyan. I can see what people get out of age play. I. Yup. Yep. Wow. All the littles inside me are pinballs right now. Uh, uh. Unlike with Lynetta or Esther, I can't overcome the unnerving presence overwhelming my senses. I feel violently sick. <laughs> Never been visited by someone so high up in rank as me, have you? Uh uh. Silly question. There's only one that outranks me, and if you had met her, neither of us would still exist. Wow. Ominous vistas of terror open from every corner of my mind. I want to run, shrinking and wailing, and alas, I have nowhere to go. My, my, you're still holding on, eh? I expected you to last long enough to chat, but it seems you're nearing your limit. Let me offer you some words of assurance. I'm the last outer god you'll ever have to see. What... what do you mean? I mean that things are about to return to abnormal. <laughs> Eldritch horrors will return to being obscure boogeymen that stalk unbeknownst to their prey. The veil shall be lowered again until the gate opens and mankind is eradicated. In other words, you'll never see me or my family ever again. But why? Why do, why do you want to split us up? Did you know that even amongst gods there are things that are strictly taboo? You see, whenever mankind starts exploring too far too quickly, you accelerate the end of all things. So we appear to slow things back down. We scare you back to the safety of the familiar. So you're literally Sin from Final Fantasy X. Got it. We whisper evils and destructive mantras to the most dangerous of your kind to ensure progress slows. Because the longer you stay afraid, the longer you live. To put it simply, once mankind isn't afraid of us anymore, everything will come to an end. I see. Humans are doomed to explore, and once mankind makes the last discovery, once mankind reaches the edge of the map, you'll fall off. So if there's one thing that is certain amidst this infinite cosmos, it's that for all of time, our relationship is shepherd and livestock, as we set the pace to the slaughterhouse. In that context, outer gods and humans being romantically involved is beyond taboo. It's upsetting the natural order and is a conflict of interest, to say the least. Now, all of this I can forgive because my troublesome nieces led you astray. I know you didn't mean to participate in such a grave taboo, right? Uh, well, um... <sighs> Remembers that my character literally went looking to, uh, smooch Eldritch Gods? <laughs> uh, I guess I didn't know. Good. Then we can work together to ensure it'll never happen again. You're familiar with these books, yes? I had one made for just this occasion. Do what needs to be done. 
perform the banish moo ritual. Wait, what will it do? <laughs> moo is the bookmaker, so it will prevent eldritch gods and humans from dating ever again. No more books can be made, and the entity responsible for bridging the gap between our realms will be destroyed. Our relationship will return to strictly business, in a manner of speaking. I... don't... want... Do not force me to remind you the grave seriousness of the situation. I promise, you've never seen anything like what I can do. Apparently, I will still get to smooch her at the end. There are two paths forward. And they're both endings. Ah, no, nothing secret. It usually has something extra. I am so sorry. She forced me to make this book. She said she'd spare me if I let you banish me instead. To destroy me, draw the symbol. And chant this. Goodbye. I hope the love will be your black fire and total darkness. So, eyeball. I wonder what Moo looks like. So, you are as wise as you are lecherous. That is good. I expected you to be an insolent, uncompromising philanderer. You can imagine my disappointment to have found you actually quite agreeable. Then all is settled. The bridge between our realms is severed for good. Ken, can I just go home now? This may look like your room, but I promise that you've traveled a long way from home. Far enough so that you will find it quite impossible to return. Wait, hold on. I... I did the spell. I'm no longer a danger to any to you I anymore. Know that very well. You've just seen the precipice of the abyss and flinched. There's nothing left of you to be concerned with. However, that banishment ritual made it so neither you nor I can travel to the realm of man ever again. Just a precaution. Call me thorough. You will stay here, where I can keep my eye on you. Where any romantic escapades of yours will not endanger us all. So... We can date each other, though. But, but, but I... Rarely do I bother myself with the affairs of humans. But it was a smooch, wasn't it? The treasure for which you traded your life how many times? A lot. Curious. Then allow me... Ah, uh, I see. Is this sufficient? That's all you need to smooch me, right? Three hearts and a big glowing button. Uh, uh, you just... I, you make it sound so easy, so simple, so beautiful. I am well versed in human courtship, but am curious as to what made my nieces bicker over you so incessantly. <laughs> now that you don't pose a threat. Now then. Come to me, human, if you don't mind smooching an old cat like me. Gosh, I'm such cougar bait right now. <laughs> Fucking Christ! Together forever! In the abyss. Uh, I 
almost, I almost uh, immediately did the other one out of spite. Goodbye. I hope that your love, that I hope that love will be your black fire and total darkness. I can't go in the bathroom. Wash my face. Oh, wow. There's no veil of uh, insanity cloaking me from total pain. Whoa, the whole book changed. Banish nothing lot the, the uh, Auntie Nanyan. You didn't think I was gonna turn my back on you, did you? You can we can beat her together. There's still hope. Draw this symbol instead. Wearing your ritual wearing your ritual amulet chant. What is it? Uh, oh, I know that symbol. That one. It's very churchy. Countervail Prosperity. If holes appear in your hand, you've been cursed by pros- by, sorry, prosody. Looks like this. The holes will multiply until there are no more. Oh, that's l literally our fucking, um, what's the opposite of a fetish? A phobia? The whole phobia? Oh, that's gonna be great. Wear the something mask and stand in front of the mirror. Chant until to the hills are filled. Counter veil and Collius swarm. A sudden plague of insects appearing means it's likely she is attacking with an Encolia swarm. Immediately light red fire candles to distract them temporarily. Grab your ritual knife. A, uh, a single bite will cause paralysis and painful agonizing death shortly after. The ritual knife is not for self-defense. Countervail tenebrosity. If the lights go out and and won't turn and won't turn on, you are cursed by the tenacity horror. There is no such thing as an innocent sound or shape in the shadows. You must complete the ritual before the darkness takes dominion. Ensure the symbol is nearby. Chant three times. Countervail caustic humors. If you feel a burning sensation in your blood, and in your, uh, in your blood and your flesh begins to melt, you are cursed with the caustic humor's horror. As a mask and robe on, uh, put a mask and robe on as quickly as possible to perceive your form, to preserve your form. With the mask on, wash your face. You will not like what you see if you do if you do not wear the mask. Watch until the burning abates. Countervail psychic scream. If you hear something strange that is getting louder with time, it's not just your imagination. It can kill you. Go outside. If you see the source of the strange noise, cast this counter spell. God, there's so many. Never trust any written words besides mine. If writing has begun to appear anywhere in your home, writing on the walls is after you. Ensure that there is no writing on your body. Check your mirror often. Wash any writing off your face. You... You wrote it without realizing it. Do not touch your chalkboard. Countervail Tormentor. You hear suspicious voices calling out to you. Check your window. If you hear suspicious voices calling out to you, check your window. If you, see some if you see something upsetting, do not go outside no matter what you hear. Do not open the door for it. Countervail Hideous Reflection. If you hear scratching glass, check your reflection. If you see something strange, run away from the mirror immediately. Do not make eye contact or touch the mirror in any way. Retreat into your bedroom and turn off all the light reflections. All the lights reflections can't exist where there is no light. If it gets in the room, there is nothing you can do. Counterville. Silence. 
If you're unable to speak or perform incantations, you have been silenced. Do not try to scream. Grab the ritual knife and go to the bathroom with the mirror. Use the mirror to cut out a foreign ob to cut out foreign objects in your mouth. Counterveil, spirit away. If you start to turn invisible while you move, you're being spirited away. They're looking for you. They want to take you away. Don't bother hiding. Pretend to be alive by standing in a room as well as possible and remain perfectly still. Hold your breath. Do not move so much as a finger while they pass through. Counterville, Taker. Routinely check that the doors are still closed. If they are ajar, close them. You only have moments to do so. If he enters your room, he won't leave without talking, without taking something with him. However, if you wear a mask and have a life form on your person, he may spare you and leave with only the life form. If you, if you wake up unharmed, he is taking your deal. This will only protect you once. Counterville, Final Fear. There's no telling what will happen if she uses his heads against you. If her true form reveals itself outside your home, there's nothing you can do to stop her. I'm sorry. We gave it our best shot. Hope the end comes swiftly. That's a lot of fucking counter spells. I hope I don't have to use all of them. Ayungal Nayan Lathop Ayayanga Fing. Looking for this dog? Ah, uh, sure was. You may be capable of pulling a fast one on my nieces, but nothing escapes my gaze. Ah. I think you'll find it quite impossible to cast that counter evil without this amulet. Now, my stray sheep, it's time I shepherd you back in line. Final boss. But first. Huh? Oh, that's not my health. Perform the correct counter counter ritual. Flash becomes porous. Oh, I hate that. And uh, until holes are filled, mask in front of a mirror. Uh, holes are multiplying until there are no more. Wear the mask and stand in front of the mirror. Chant until the holes are filled. Nothing left to knock. Fucking dumb dog. Uh, Nagin left fly on the stringer. Ningus flop on the stringer. Do you believe your mind is still on your side? I, I don't know what's on my side. Do you still trust it? We'll see who it sides with soon. Shadow? There is no escape. Hideous reflection. If you're just gonna check your reflection and see this in a strange run away from the mirror immediately. Shadows everywhere? Sounds of shadows. Uh, spirit away? Shadows whispering with malicious intent. Darkness bursts terror. No, it's not that one. Uh, check your doors. They close their jar. Try not to scream. Now the end. If you hear a suspicious voice calling from your window, just any words. Light snuffed, hope fades. Oh, 
that's it. We are spending technical difficulties. Something terrible has happened. I walked the earth while man was still rocking in its cradle. I know not only what scares you, but what terrified every single one of your ancestors. Oh, this is not helpful. Oh. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I, I purposely can't see the thingy. Wait, uh... Oh, that's... Well lit. Stand perfectly still, right? That's the ending spell. That's for me to banish. I don't want to do. Oh, oh! I had to re. I had to re unseal it. I see what you mean. Oh, I'm dead. I get it now, though. Looking for this dog? Oh, wait, I need the mask. Concentration now. Oh, thanks for the tip. Take my deal, dog. Do you believe your mind is still on your side? Suffering is born. Your window. 
Uh, Black Fire and Total Darkness. No, don't chant that. Don't answer the door. Close. No. Caustic humors. Uh, hear something? If you hear a strange sound, it gets louder. No. Nope. Uh, never trust any written words. If you hear a suspicious voice calling out to you, don't open the door. Chant this. Very clever. But I'll have you know I've met many clever humans. None of them could outwit me in the end. You are scum. Uh, words written on the wall. Uh, do not touch your chalkboard. You're without realizing it. Yeah, I'm in Yeah, our guy. Yeah. Wait, I still got got. Your voice won't be heard again. Oh, you silenced me. Um, grab the ritual knife, go to the bathroom in the mirror. Right on the wall, right? <laughs> oh, still wrong. Go to hell, wise ass. Where sounds to get louder. becomes quiet. Uh, it might be too late now. Too far. Um. Concentration now. Ah, uh, that's it for me. <sighs> Ultimate test of skill. I swear. Honestly, I'm gonna grab a ritual knife now. Looking for this. Don't I wonder if it also always starts with the uh, fleshies. Yep, flesh comes for us. I might not always do it in this exact order, but. I can at least count on it starting with the thing that in this game that's actually fucks us the most. Trying to think about it, trying to think, think about it, trying not to think about it, trying not to think about it. Trying to think about it, trying not to think about it, trying to think about it, trying to think about it. Do you believe your okay. mind is still on your side? I mean, you're definitely not on my side. That's for sure. Suffering is born. Shh. 
shut door. What? No! I walked the earth while man was still rocking in its cradle. I know not only what scares you, but what terrified every single one of your ancestors. Um. Fuck. Uh. Change the black to all darkness. Right? Off. What am I missing? Is there a light on I'm not realizing? Yes. Your concentration I'm looking for you. <laughs> Go outside. <laughs> Wrong countervail. Uh, wait, that. How? I'm, I'm so confused. Don't lose your concentration now. <laughs> Okay, if it's not that one, it's the ones that want to go through me. Spirited away. Wallet room. And just don't move. Don't even move a finger. I mean, it'll either pass or it'll kill me, right? And then I'll know. Sure, it's taking a long time. Okay, maybe it's not that one. Oh, it reset itself again? Fucking Christ. Which is literally the opposite of what I need right now. Swarm. No. Lights go out. Burning sensation. If you can see the source of the strange noise, cast this counter veil. What could it be? Written words, suspicious voices. That's not it. Not being silenced. I was mixing some other ones up.
I legit don't know. Should I start over? Uh, I guess I'll start over, cause uh, I mean, maybe it's stuck, I don't know. some of these up. Looking for this dog? the knife already. Fire of agony causes the ground to tremble? To lift the veil. Oh, oh, this is happening because that's fucked up. Let's see how you handle the next one, dog. Shadows everywhere. Oh, lights won't come on. Off. Oh. There is no escape. On the wall, tormentor. Julius reflection. Um, I was like, S with T. Um, cosmic humors. This one. Sound of shadows. those to be a challenge they were a promise of died a lot these next horrors won't be so easy to dispel suffering is born <laughs> what fuck me Wait, I didn't get hit from that one? Sounds of scratching glass. 
Okay, uh... Off. One. Scratching glass. Reapparent sensation. Ministering is getting louder. Just the words. Uh, kind of cheeky. One, if you hear suspicious voices calling you, if you hear scratches on the glass, see some stranger away from the mirror immediately. Uh, we're gonna ruin. There's nothing you can do. Retreat to your bedroom and turn off all the lights. All of the lights' reflections. Yeah, this way there's no light. trouble are these horrors becoming too challenging for you to withstand no i got this auntie <laughs> oh you can't begin to imagine the horrors i can show you oh i'm sure and soon you won't have to imagine god damn it i've walked the earth while man was still rocking in its cradle i know not only what scares you but what terrified Invisible. every single one of your ancestors. They're looking for you. Don't bother hiding. Pretend to be alive by staying in a room as well as possible. Hold your breath. Do not move as much as a finger. Gosh, I want to move so bad. Here's an eye opener for you. Rafe's appearing. Don't move. Let them pass through you. Let them pass through you. Let them pass through you. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Haven't surrendered yet, dog. I I'm impressed. Thank you, Auntie. You've got backbone for a human of your age. Thank you. Not human, but thanks. But I doubt your will to survive will last much longer. <coughs> you say that? What's that outside your window? Oh. Final fear. Not the scratches. No! I go outside no matter what. Very clever. But I'll have you know I've met many clever humans. None right of them could outwit me in the end. Well, it's not about outwitting, it's about survival, not to try for it. Oh, apparently something still bad happened. Do not touch the chalkboard. You wrote without realizing sure that there is no writing on your body. All over.
Wah. I have to wash my face every time. That's clever. You survived all that? Just one human? Barely. In such a short time? Becoming... I can't believe it. You're no average human. But you still can't escape me. She must be running out of tricks by now. The ultimate wrath of the clawing chaos is upon you. Um... Your true form looks rather smashing, Auntie. Hold fast and prepare yourself, dog. Oh my god, she has toe beams. She has beans. She has hand beans? I've lasted this long. I'm not stopping now. I I'm not afraid. <laughs> then you lack imagination. Flesh becomes porous. In the bathroom. Station. If you hear something is getting louder, go outside. What's that outside your window? Someone that I know. No Esther, no Esther. You're not Esther. Me. I'm just saying you're in the besides mine. Your switch's voice is calling you. I'm not opening your door. Very clever. But I'll have you know I've met many clever humans. None of them could outwit me in the end. If you scratches, if you're unable to speak, if you start to turn invisible, routinely check your doors. There's no telling what will happen if she does this. Oh, never trust any written words beside mine. Make sure that there's no writing on your body. Alright. This is kind of like WarioWare in a way. Uh, sounds of scratching glass. If you feel a burning sensation, your light go out. If you hear a plague of insects, 
different words. Um, we'll see something strange run away. Uh, immediately retreat if it, um, retreat into the bedroom and turn off all the lights. Shadows. There is no uh, not turning invisible. Check the doors are closed. No, no, no. Uh, suspicious voices. They're just written words. Um, um. Uh, that symbol. That's a good symbol. Okay, it's long, long, long. Don't move a muscle. Having one health while doing this makes it so much more uh, intense. Goodbye! Goodbye! Still standing? How? Fuck if I know. Uh, plot armor? In fact, the longer this has been going on, you've seemed more and more resolved. Well, I gotta get my smooches, and I want to keep smooching all of the Eldritch hoochies. It's not possible. There's no emotion stronger than fear, and no fear more powerful than fear of the unknown. Hey, that's a Lovecraft quote. You silly kitty. It's not true. Humans don't fear the unknown. Never have. If you think we do, you haven't been paying attention. Even sailors, the most superstitious humans to ever walk the earth, set sail to the edges of the world they were sure was flat and inhabited by sea monsters. We've been inventors, explorers, astronauts. Hell, we take holidays to places we've never been to for fun. You're not even stuttering anymore. Why aren't you cowering before me? Because you were wrong, Auntie Nanian. There's one emotion stronger than fear. There's one feeling that every living thing knows, and it's way stronger than fear. It, it can't be. It's love. Bingo! No fool? It's lust. What? You think the male praying mantis knows fear while he's getting some? Hell no. <laughs> Ridiculous. You're saying pure lust is keeping you from being scared of me? You ever see that meme where it's like some dragon saying how they could totally end my life in a in the snap of a button? Me totally turned on. Ah, maybe you don't have the internet. Have you ever heard of the suspension bridge effect then? They say when two people face danger together, they fall in love. Not when one of them is the danger. Well, maybe one of them falls in... Uh, codependence, then? You, don't you understand the cruel indifference of the infinite cosmos? Yeah, and it's hot. Your world, your reality, everything you know and love, it's all meaningless and could vanish in an instant. <laughs> it's kind of funny, isn't it? Even as we speak, your sun spins around the precipice of terminal oblivion. I guess, but it's not like I'll love to see it anyway. <laughs> Idiot, the only thing that the sun spins around is the Earth and every human on it. I gotta give a, a finger high five.
And that's not all. There's more you don't realize. You really think I'm meaningless because I'm human, right? You think I'm the lowest of the low, an insignificant speck not worth any attention. And yet here I am, in your dream. <gasps> I've got that right, don't I, Auntie Nanian? If I'm here with you, it's because you're dreaming about me. It means I'm in your head just as much as you're in mine. I think the truth is, you're terrified of me. You're terrified of the speed at which I mean the unknown and planning a big wet one on it. I'm terrifying enough to have invaded your dreams after all, right? You've come face to face with the greatest threat to your power and nothing you can do and throw to him can stop him. And after all this, after meeting your nieces, serving Esther's whims, and being a sweetie to... Ugh, why am I stuttering now? <laughs> Lynetta, after meeting Lynetta and serving Esther's whims, and being subjected to the worst you have to offer, I gotta say, it was all pretty fun. Now tell me, does it sound like it's my nightmare, or is this yours? It's my win, Auntie Nyan Nyan. It can't be. You, you think you can turn the tables on me? I already have. You're the second most powerful god, and you fear me. It's only a matter of time before I date every single god you know. I'm gonna leap into the great unknown cosmos and smooch that too! Starting with you. Pucker up, Auntie Nanya. You've earned it. Oh, no. <sighs> wow. He... He... Escaped from me. A human too lustful to fear anything. Could such a thing even exist? What horror. As soon as any of us dreams again, he undoubtedly will return to haunt our hearts once more. Oh, I'm never getting a good night's sleep with him on the loose. <laughs> now I totally understand why, uh... The char the main character for the sequel to this game is asexual. It's the diametric opposite, but also very powerful. Auntie Nanian. Hmm. Well, I get to see Kraz roll, huh? Yeah, I need a crossover with this and, um, what was it? Hell, Hell, uh, Helltaker. Dedicated to my brilliant wife, Carolyn Hunter. You make me a real sucker for love. Created by Akababa. Akabaka. <laughs> He is the embodiment of lust, the ultimate horn dog. Mm hmm. And thankfully, not feeling overstimulated from the noises anymore. Uh, sorry that that uh that final encounter was so uh such a bad stone. I'm glad you survived. Imagine a game like 10 times this big, 
dating like 30 different Eldritch monstrosities. God, that'd be so cool. But considering uh, the amount of time it took with this much content, uh, that, that would be a lot of work, I think. But also thinking about it, uh, Akabaka made a great puzzle game? Just like, I mean, all the other genres are salient too, but like, the thing that shines through, especially with that final, um, with the final date, yeah, like, very strong sense of puzzle game. I mean, it's it was kind of like doing a, um, Aka Baka. Sucker for love. First date. I was gonna say, it's kinda like doing a, uh... Wow, I totally lost my train of thought, actually. Lynetta is still breathing on the screen. Wow. Thanks, Echo. I was also in a call with a friend, so multiple noises were overstimming, but thanks, Echo. I'm glad I survived, too. Oh, feel free to, like, mute us or something if you want to stay in stream and you got that much noises going on and it's hurting you, you know? You deserve to not be in pain. <laughs> I'm glad I survived, too, since Lynetta is really cute and Auntie Nanyan is adorable. Auntie Nanyan was great. Oh, I was talking about puzzle games. Um, how this game, like, it's puzzle game this, like, really, uh, really touched me. And it felt like I, it also felt like I was playing a, um, escape room. It also felt like an escape room, which is pretty cool. Alright. Well, everybody, uh, we're at 12 hours now. Uh, took a while. We finally made it. To 12 hours. We're not done. We got another game. There's another game here. <laughs>